So, today is not the day. Today is the 20th of April. And it's another week, my third week of checking up on the bluebells. And yeah, third week in a row. Monday again. Um, and look at that, absolutely beautiful. They're about, I don't know, 60% out, I would say. But it's just looking right now, it's absolutely beautiful. And it's only going to get better <laughs> because they're not all out yet. Look at this. Let's see. So we've still got one, two, maybe three weeks until they're in fully bloom. But I'm not making a full video today. This clip here is going to be part of the main one because I have no more ideas to make full videos out of. So yeah, this is just going to be a little scouting clip. I'm going on my full route again. And just checking up on every little composition that I took a photo of on the first day. Seeing how they're coming along. Because, yeah, it's looking really, really promising. But I'm just going to check up on everything, just so if some compositions aren't working, I can scrap them. Because I already have like probably too many. Um, but you can never really have too many, can you? And down here, where I got my first composition, it's looking a bit unpromising. There's just not that many down here. And there it is. That's my log shot. And um, yeah, not many coming up. So I'm not sure if this little spot down here will be very good. Wow, check this out. I had no idea wild garlic could be this beautiful. It's almost as good as blue barrel, really. Just a complete different color. And I wonder if I could change white to purple <laughs> in Photoshop. No, I'm not going to do that, trust me. Oh, wow. I haven't noticed this until now. It's absolutely amazing. Look, check this out. Perfect little leading line. Wild garlic each side, a little sapling in the middle. Absolutely beautiful. So guys, welcome back to the Bluebell Forest. Look how shaven I am, I look like a baby. Um, today I'm doing something quite out of the ordinary. I mean, it's gonna be a separate video. But um, yeah, today I'm going on like a 20 mile, 30 mile walk, a circular walk. Oh, I'm going to walk all the way to Willacombe. I'm in Elfcombe right now. And then I'm going to walk all the way back home through the tours. And you guys won't know what any of that is unless you live here. But you can search up if you want. But yeah, starting off in the Bluebell Forest. And um, the reason I'm recording this on my phone is because I forgot my SD card. <laughs> the camera. Oh, so the camera's dead weight now. And I've also got this tripod that's dead weight. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to hide the tripod somewhere in the forest so I can come get it another time. But the camera, unfortunately. The only problem is this phone has a really small um, battery. So, yeah, I'm not going to be able to record as much as I want to. And obviously I need to reserve some battery just in case of emergency. But I'm going to hide it in there. That. Yeah. Wow. Little squirrel down there. Look at the bluebells now. They are almost, almost at peak. Just one more week, I reckon. Today is the 27th. We've got probably one more week before they're at a maximum. This time next week, we'll be up here. We'll be getting our photos. Can't wait. 
but I'm not going to go on a standard route today. I'm just going to go up these stairs because usually I'll go in there, walk over there, walk down there, walk around and then come around here and come up back up these stairs and then come up here. But today, I'm just going to go up here. Yeah, I'm kind of just a bit disappointed. I don't know what's going wrong with the bluebells. I really don't. I don't know if they're dying, I don't know if they're dried out, I don't know if they're not in their prime yet. I really have no idea. It's a week before they're supposed to be in their prime. Um, and some of them appear to be still growing, but they just seem a bit dried out. I think it might have been because of that drought. Another beautiful shot. This one's got four trees in it that I want. Put them in for the 18mm. I'm doing it in time for the sun. I just about did it in time, but the sun wasn't in its prime. It was just fading away, so I've got to wait again. But this time I have time to perfect my composition. And there's like a little leading path leading you through downhill. Absolute beautiful shot. Probably one of my favourites. 130 for second F8. Hold it as steady as I possibly can. 150 for second F8. Very underexposed. I have to drop it down to F6.3. 150 of a second, F6.3. We're just getting little highlights of sun right now. And sometimes it's all you want. You don't want everything in sun. Sometimes all you want is just a few little highlights. So I'm a bit sorry, I forgot to do a bit of b-roll for the last shot, but hopefully I'll get that another time, because I am going to come back up in this same video. don't know how long this video is going to be, but it's going to be quite long. But I'm at the top of the hill now, and um, yeah, I got a lovely shot here, this massive oak tree growing out this stone wall, and there's just loads of bluebells scattered around it. Not much of the blue ever catching the light though. Because there's some bushes in the way and stuff, but it isn't really too much of a problem. Um, basically, what I learned from this is that the shot would probably be better at like 4 o'clock instead of 6 o'clock. Or like 7 now, about half 7. This window's not helping when I'm having such a slow shutter speed. 1 40th of a second, f6.5. Problem is, I want everything in focus. And for that I need F16, but I can't because it's just too dark. So I'll pump up the ISO to about ISO 400 so I can get a decent handheld um, shot. But it really isn't about that, it's about this wind moving all these leaves and stuff. F8, 140th of a second. So I just went for a portrait and a group of bluebells were being spotlighted. That's absolutely amazing. So I think that portrait is actually better than the initial landscape shot. So the sun almost by that hill now. I'm just waiting one last I'm just waiting for one last sun blast to hit the side of this hill down here and light up and light up this beautiful leading pathway and stairs. It just leads you down and it curves and it's absolutely beautiful. I've only got really bluebells one side. Well there's bluebells that side but you can't really see them. We've got some beautiful vibrant green leaves. So yeah, just praying for one last bit of sun. It's not like I'm only coming here for this day. 
I'm going to come up every opportunity I can possibly get. Um, because I think these blue bars are starting to fade away. Right, it's around back in the blue bar woods yet again on another day. Today is the 1st of May. It's the day after the clips I just recorded. And it's around 3 o'clock right now, so I'm coming up about midday to see what I can shoot. Um, because the sun wasn't reaching uh, very many things. Um, when I came up about sunset. So, today, coming up about midday. And hopefully the sun's going to be hitting more on these blue bows today. And I've walked into the woodlands, gone a different way today. we got some of the shots that I wanted. So I thought I'd come a different way. And go off the beaten track. Go off the beaten track a bit. And, yeah, I'm just going to have a walk through the woodlands and see what I can find. But I found this beautiful composition right here. There's a bunch of bluebells in front of this. I'm not sure the name of the tree, but it's this lovely tree with this lovely bark and they've just been spotlighted. And uh, yeah, it's beautiful. So pretty much what I'm doing. It's most of the time, you know, I'd go for, I'd go for about F16, F8 to get everything in focus. But today I just want those bluebells in focus with a beautiful texture tree in the background and all the other bluebells in the background. And yeah, it really gives a sense of depth. And I love a sense of depth in images. But most of the time when I'm shooting landscapes, I can't really do it. But in the woodlands, yeah. In the woodlands, it's perfect. And I might even get some more intimate shots. Some real close-ups of some bluebells. Um, but that, but for this shot, I'm shooting f1.8 and I've tried f2.8 just because f1.8 might be a bit too shallow depth of field but um yeah I'm doing a lot better than I was yesterday because thanks that 1.8 aperture I can get a really really fast shot and it's not as windy today thankfully So I just grabbed an abstract and very beautiful shot here and oh my god it's amazing it's like this really old spiky log standing over this blue bow and it's like a giant standing over a mouse it's amazing look at this So I really think macro works well, like midday, because I've just got this beautiful shot of these blue bowers being shined on. But they weren't being shined on directly, the blue bowers behind them were being shined on. So it's kind of backlit in the scene, and I was focusing on these blue bowers right in front, with this, with this tree crawling in on the left hand side of the image, and it looked super beautiful, because you had about three different depths of the image. So I'm on the morning side now, but the sun is just reaching over and um, there's this little sapling sat in the middle of this bluebell meadow. There's two of them and one of them I've just been shooting, but because it's pretty much against the background, there's no depth to it. But there's one here that I think I'll get a bit of depth on with my F1.8. And what I'm doing is I'm focusing on the tree and I'll get real low so I can get all these bluebells in the foreground. They're going to be all out of focus, so it's going to be little blue dots everywhere. That's going to look really, really nice. And the sun is just sight lighting these trees, and it's not too harsh, to be honest. So this one that I'm shooting now, it's quite small, but it was the only thing 
that was being shined on. I read all these bluebells in the foreground that were not being shined on else. And because there's nothing against the tree, there's a massive depth to it. That's beautiful. So guys, back in the bluebell forest for a third day in a row. Um, so I've done, so I've done golden hour sunset, and I've done midday. So today is the turn of morning. And it's about seven o'clock right now. Um, sunrise is about twenty to six, but it's a massive hill. The sun has to come, come above before it can shine on anything. And um, yeah, I really should be up here about half an hour before, but um, yeah, I'm a bit tired. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just wait for the sun to come out now. It's behind a load of cloud, and I'm coming around the morning side now. I'm really excited for this because the morning side is so much better than the evening side to me for some reason. Um, it just it's a lot better. But yeah, just wait for that morning sun to come out. So I've just found this really, really nice leading line. I mean, it's a composition I've seen before, but it hasn't really stood out to me until today. And that's because the sun is just giving the bluebells some beautiful side light. And only some of them, not all of them. That's morning and evening sun. It can only hit some things, which gives it some, which gives it a bit of a highlight, really. And when it hits the subject you want, it's amazing. So now I just wait for the sun to come out. Pretty much a little leading line, which is pretty much made from me walking through these bluebells from previous times up here. And then there's this lovely tree on the left hand side with beautiful vibrant green leaves. And um, yeah, that's pretty much given the foreground interest to the image. Um, F11, about 140th of a second ISO. 320. It might not be that might not be in my exposure yet. So here's one of my favourite leading lines. It's really nice to see it finally getting lit up by the sun or highlighted. Absolutely amazing. 160 per second. ISO 200. I've got to try and frame it as if these two trees are the borders. I don't know if you remember this, but I remember talking about this and I walked up. Beautiful leading line, but a shame that it's covered with wild garlic instead of bluebells, obviously. But there's loads of bluebells over this side, actually. But I've grown to actually like wild garlic now. And yeah, it's like shooting, it's like killing two birds with one stone, pretty much. Um, beautiful leading line leading me down the hill, absolutely covered with wild garlic. Does it get any better than this? What well, does? It does a bit of sun on it, and it's not right now. But yeah, just gonna wait for the sun to come back out and grab a beautiful shot. So I'm really sorry for my attitude in this video or my creativity. 
Um, I'm a bit burnt out, but I must endure and shoot these blue bells because I've only got, you know, one week in the whole year to do it. So even if I am burnt out, I still have to come up here and do it. And it really isn't good because I should be, you know, away from photography. Um, and that way I can get motivated to come back out and do photography again. But, um, I'm about to come out. But it's not really a problem. Um, I've enjoyed it. It's pretty much just a walk for me, really. I haven't been doing much B-roll at all. Because I really have not been motivated. And some shots I haven't even recorded. And I really do apologise for it. Um, if I was recording normally, I'd put the camera further back. So it wouldn't be chopping off my head. But I just don't have the effort to. Right now, I've just been a bit depressed really lately. But, um... Yeah, I think that's going to be it for this video because it's going to get a bit bloated if I carry it on. Um, because I probably will be back up here again. Um, probably in the evening because the evening shoot didn't go very well. There was lots and lots of lots of cloud and it was very windy. So I'll probably be doing uh, the evening shoot again. So yeah, I probably will be back up here. Um, but that'll be either a part two or a completely different... Uh, video maybe like a tips and shooting blue bows or something like that or five I'd, five creative ideas to shoot blue bows I don't know something like that something along those lines but I thank you very much for watching this video please like please subscribe and I'll see you